What's up guys, it's Harley with Welcome Back. Today we're gonna take a look at the ProTac 2.0 RM, which stands for rail mount version from Streamlight. This guy puts out 2000 lumens. I'm gonna show you some nighttime comparison footage here in just a second. It doesn't have tremendously high candela, but it does have a lot of output. So you're gonna get a big flood, all right? It's gonna light up a big broad area. Now, is it gonna reach out past 100 yards? No, not, not really. Now, there is a handheld version of this same light, but this one is the dedicated rail mount version, all right? The rail mount that is on here is a 1913 pick style mount. So on this particular rifle, there's a small portion at the front here on this SLR rail that has pick 1913 rail on it, as well as across the top here. But there's also a mount if you wanted to mount this via M-Lock as well. And in hindsight, I probably should have got that. Most of my rifles now um, have M-Lock on them. Now this particular rig is my varmint rig. I live on a bunch of property. We have a lot of problems with squirrels getting in the barn out back, with raccoons tearing stuff up with possums getting into stuff. I try to leave the possums alone as much as possible because they kill copperheads and eat ticks and stuff like that. Now, again, 2,000 lumens, 17,700 candela. So it's not low by any stretch, but it's definitely not up there with like your cloud defense and your mod lights that are putting out 50, 60,000 lumens, all right? That being said, this also on high has two and a half hours of runtime. That is crazy, two and a half hours on high. That's really, really well done. And it's powered by a rechargeable, what they call an SLB50. I'll roll in a picture of it here. And if you slide this little cover back here, you can see that it exposes the USB-C port there. So nice job on USB-C port. And there are rubber rings here to keep this all watertight. This guy is six and a half inches long, which in my opinion is just the ideal length. Um, on the top here, you can see that there is a pressure pad that comes with this rail mount version. Now, when it ships from the factory, at least mine, it was a single press for turbo. And if you double pressed it, it went into strobe mode, all right? But this thing is programmable. There are three modes. There's that mode that I just mentioned. There's a high only mode and there's a low only mode. To access those modes, it's actually really, really simple. They have what they call their 10 tap interface, all right? You can do it with either the activation switch on the back side of the tail cap there, or you can do it with the pressure pad also. So if I press this 10 times, hold on the 10th, and then wait one second, you'll see the light adjust and then release. That puts it into the next mode. So there is a high strobe mode, there is a high only and a low only. Right now I'm in high only. Let's do the 10 taps and then let go. Hold, and you can see it dim down. So now that is on low only, okay? Now, if I do it again, you'll see it'll go back into that factory mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hold. And there you can see it goes back into strobe. So if I just press and hold, it's high. If I double press, it goes into strobe. I'm gonna put it back into high because as you're working, you may have to light something up, let it go, and then light it up again. And I didn't like that the strobe kept coming on. So I'm gonna go back into the high only mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There it goes, now it's in high only. All right, let's show you some of that nighttime footage. If you're new to my channel, frame of reference here. That barn building that you see back there is 61 yards from where I'm standing, and it is 14 feet tall at the peak. So it kind of gives you an idea for the size of the spill and especially the hot spot on these things. All right, 14 feet tall, 61 yards from here. And way back there in that dark spot right there, if I zoom in, you see that white spot back there in the darkness? That is a steel target at 101 yards, all right? I can just barely see it. So this thing has a little over 17,000 candela, 2,000 lumens. Now for comparison, let me bring in my rain micro. I'm gonna have to put the ProTac down for a second, hold on. So this is the cloud defensive rain micro and has about 50,000 or 54,000 candela, less lumens though. So you see it doesn't light up nearly as much peripheral area. Although, look at how it daylights that target at 107 yards. So there's a trade-off, all right? You either want a lot of spill so you can see everything around you, or you want to reach out to that 100 and something yards. And there is the stream light again. So much, much brighter in terms of just the overall spill, just this flood that it puts out. I mean, way up in the trees, 
I've got a lot more peripheral kind of positive ID. Um, I would say it's kind of done at about that 100 yard mark. I mean, I can see that target with the naked eye, but not really something I'd feel confident taking shots out to if I wasn't sure what that was. So there you go. That's the Streamlight ProTac 2.0 rail mount version. Um, probably the cheapest place you're gonna find this is Amazon. I put a link in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, that's it guys. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like. It just helps the algorithm pick this up, spread it a little bit further. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you probably should be. I do a ton of giveaways of flashlights and knives and all kinds of tactical gear and stuff like that. There is a link in my uh, description below to my newsletter. I do not spam you, I promise. I just let you know when one of my giveaways goes live. So appreciate your time watching. As always, lots more content to come and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.